Factory has been. Dan Kankura, welcome to the Touchline. How are you doing, my brother? I'm doing fine. Yeah. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah. Yes. It's been a minute, man. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? Yeah, but, the last uh, time we spoke, we were going for the elections for the president of the International Association. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was a repeat election. A repeat actually. election, yes. It didn't happen. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's been a very rough season in terms of polit sports politics. Yes. But I think yeah, it's still going to have that challenge between IBA and the International Olympic Committee. Yes. Because as of now, the IOC has made a decision that uh, boxing will be managed by IOC Boxing Task Force mm -hmm. for the Paris 2024. Yes. And as at now also for the 2028 Olympic Games, mm -hmm. boxing is not in the roster. Wow. It's subject mm -hmm. to some issues that mm -hmm. IOC wants there are a lot of resolved. scrutiny around it. Yeah, so there yeah. are issues to be sorted out. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the relation looks so sour. Because, yes. uh, for instance, when I was the IBA was doing World Championship, they wanted the World Championship to be used as Olympic qualifiers. Mm -hmm. IOC had already made a decision on which tournament will be the Olympic qualifiers. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of politics going on between IOC and IBA. Yeah. Uh, but we hope those politics are going to be resolved so that uh, boxers do not suffer because when the big boys are fighting, it's the sport that suffers yes. at the grassroots level. That is very true. But all in all, you had a very good, I think, uh, championship, the Women uh, World Championship that happened in New Delhi, Indy. Tell us, how was it and how did uh, Kenya perform? Uh, the World Championship was organized uh, in India, New Delhi, and uh, it was a very good championship. Uh, for us, we were lucky enough that we were able to send a full team of 11 boxers. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, the results were not as impressive as you like them to be mm -hmm. because we had <coughs> one boxer getting to the quarterfinal stage. Yes. And that's the team captain, Elizabeth and Diego. Mm -hmm. And she lost to a very good boxer in the quarterfinal from Kazakhstan. Yes. But she gave a very good account of herself. Mm -hmm. The others, uh, we had uh, Christine Ongare losing in the second round of the minimum minimum bout against uh, a boxer from Tanzania. No, she won against Tanzania, then she lost against Turkey, but through a very controversial decision by the referee, a referee from Japan. Uh, but the other boxers, all of them lost in the first round. Yes. But I can say a good number of them we gave very good account of themselves. We had about three fights where we didn't agree with the decision of the judges. Uh, we also have a few, about three, who didn't perform to their level best at all. Yes. And I think as a federation, when you look at the list of the team that is going to DAR, yes. you'll see they are, they, we have made some changes there. Yeah. Because we believe that uh, when these boxers get, get an opportunity to compete at that very high level, then they need to perform to those standards. Yes. Uh, at least we don't demand that you must win a medal, but mm -hmm. you must give your all. Yes. So we, uh, we thought that they fought against opponents who are weaker than them, and yet they lost. Mm -hmm. and so you find somebody wins first round, and then somebody comes and wins two rounds. Mm -hmm. And you see that somebody is not that committed to winning yeah. a fight. Mm -hmm. So we were against that, and uh, we are going to take decision. Th as that a is uh, majorly more on to now to the attitude of our girls and boys who went there now. Yes, it's, it's for it girls, yeah, because it's for yeah. Women World Championship. Yeah. So all, all the boxers we're talking about are women. Yes. And uh, we didn't, uh, okay, we, we had a very good outing, and uh, I can say there's a lot of imp improvement from yes. our girls. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe when now we come to compete in the African continent, where most of the teams are about our level, yes. I think the, it, the, the improvement that we saw will show. Yes. Because normally uh, at the World Championship level, you're competing against the best in the world. Uh -huh. And yeah. you see now with the, Oli with the World Championship, mm -hmm. you don't have qualifiers yes. such that uh, the top box, some uh -huh. of the top box are eliminated. Yeah. So you have all the top boxers from the world mm -hmm. competing there. Mm -hmm. Again, we have prize money for the, f it's the second time that is happening. Yes. The first time was last year during the World Championship in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Uh, this time round still, we, see we had uh, prize money of $100,000 for gold medal. Mm -hmm. Then we have $50,000 for silver medal and $25,000 for a bronze medal. Yeah. So that one also makes the competition to be very competitive. Yeah. Uh, and I believe 
for those who watch the competition, the standards were quite high. Yeah. Uh, the level of officiating was not that good. Uh, I will s there are some decisions that uh, we didn't agree with, but generally I would say we had it was a successful world championship for yeah. the IBA. Uh, the, the controversial decisions uh, were not only from Kenya, but other countries also complained. W what are some of the key decisions that you were against uh, from these judges? Uh, for, for instance, uh, in the bout between uh, our minimum weight, Christine Ongari, against a girl from Turkey, yeah. we actually don't know what happened because the referee gave account for for a very soft blow. Mm -hmm. You know, normally a referee needs to give account when a boxer has been hurt by a punch. So mm -hmm. that uh, maybe a punch has, has uh, made you to go down. Yes. Or a punch has made you to stagger, you're drunk. Yes. So the referee gives you account to mm -hmm. give you time to recover. Uh -huh. But yes. this time you saw mm -hmm. a, a referee giving account where mm -hmm. somebody has tapped you mm -hmm. with a, a blow that has no impact. Yes. So, which is, okay, again now boxing is very subjective yeah. because <laughs> the boxer also complains that uh, they don't know what, what happened mm -hmm. for the fight to be stopped. Yeah. And the same, again, the same referee that did that uh, to Ongare had done that before to another of our boxer who was doing a debut mm -hmm. at the World Championship, that is Frieza Nyango. Uh -huh, yes. And Frieza Nyango was fighting against... Uh, Africa champion and uh, world champion silver medalist Imani Khalif mm -hmm. from Algeria. Yes. And uh, in the first round, the referee, the referee gave a count mm -hmm. for a, and again for a soft blow. Yes. And then after a small exchange, the referee stopped. We would stop. You yes. know, saying the boxers should go to their corners. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what had happened, uh, so because the boxer has not received any punch, the referee just stopped the fight. Yes. Our coach was very bitter. He went to complain to the technical delegate, yeah. who is the official in charge of the of the tournament there. Mm -hmm. And the technical delegate said that he also didn't agree with what had happened. Yes. But the referee had made a decision, mm -hmm. and that was deemed to be final. Yeah. So that's how we lost two of our bouts, mm -hmm. and the circumstances were not the best. So we there are no other. Uh, appeal mechanism for decisions that have been done in the boxing ring. Yeah. So we just had to live with the decisions that were taken. But deep down we feel that our boxers had a chance to give a very good account of themselves. Yeah. Even though we know they were fighting against a champion like Imani Khalif. Mm -hmm. Imani Khalif has been Africa champion, has been to the Olympics, has, yes. has won a, a historic medal well. at the yeah. World Championship medal yes. level. Mm -hmm. And this time she had switched to eight going to the welterweight she last time she won silver yes. in the light welterweight division yeah. so this time around she wants to go to the olympics mm -hmm. so she went uh, she, she goes up to the welterweight and the first bout she's drawn again as a kenyan mm -hmm. and uh, the decision was not the best we know Khalif is quality yes and uh, probably if they had gone for the full bout mm -hmm. uh, she would probably have won yes but i believe uh, the referee should have given our girl uh, Frieza Nyango to give her an account of herself because she had not been hurt when the fight was stopped. Yeah. When you look at uh, Kenya, Africa, how do we compare to the rest of the world? Uh, the, I don't know. There's a challenge there because mm. uh, in total we had about uh, 65 countries competing. Mm. Yes. Uh, of course, we had a few countries that had boycotted the, tour the tournament, mm -hmm. uh, but 65 turned out, and out of 65, 11 mm. African countries participated. Mm. But again, now when you look at deep down at those teams, out of the 11 that represented the continent at the World Championship level, uh, it's only Kenya that had 11 boxers. Yes. The other big team to us was Algeria with six. Uh -huh. The rest of the teams, uh, Morocco and uh, Mozambique had four. Uh -huh. Yes. The others had one, one. Yeah. So you find the, the entire team from, uh, the boxers from, from Africa yeah. were 41, and the tournament had about 324 boxers. Yes. So you can find the number of boxers from Africa mm -hmm. participating at that high level is very minimal. Yes. And I think that's what now also minimizes our chances of maybe 
having to get to the latter stages of the competition, yeah. even though still with the, with the low numbers, mm -hmm. uh, I was very proud of the performance by some of our African uh, brother, uh, our African sisters, yes. especially from uh, from Morocco, where we had uh, a historic gold medal from Africa, the very first one at yes. the World Championship level, mm -hmm. by Madi Khadija mm -hmm. from Morocco in the heavyweight division. Yes, she got a gold medal, and then uh, she also we also got a silver, no, a bronze medal from minimum weight uh, from a girl called Yasmin Mutaki. Yes, from Morocco also. So Africa got two medals mm -hmm. in the entire championship, although which is a lower number of medal compared to last time we had yes. five medals from Africa. Yeah. So I still think Africa has a long way to go to be able to compete at that high level and win medals. Yeah. I think it has maybe something to do with the training met methodologies. Yes. And also I think our preparations in Africa are normally not the best. Uh -huh. Uh, yes. Because we normally go for training for a very short duration of time. Yes. And we don't have exposure tournament where we are competing am among the best boxers, maybe even from Africa yeah. or from across the world. So that when we go to some of these major championships, mm -hmm. we are not as prepared mm -hmm. as those we are going to compete against. Yeah. Uh, and we also know the credibility of some of the boxers competing there. It's mm -hmm. top notch. Yeah. Very, and very and high level. level. Yeah, but and we also had, for the first time, we had a professional, a world champion competing yes. uh, in the lightweight division from France. Uh -huh, and yes. unfortunately, she was eliminated at the quarterfinal level. Yes. Uh, which I thought, or maybe it's a message also mm. to show that in our, uh, the guys competing at the amateur level yeah. are also very good boxers. Yes. Competing at that and level. for us, making to a quarterfinal with Elizabeth and Diego has got to be a big improvement for us. Yeah, it was very good for that. And uh, I believe uh, what made her to get that there was uh, when she was number two seed yes. in the world uh -huh. because of having won a silver medal at the Africa Championship, yes. uh, which was done last year, mm -hmm. sometimes in November. Yeah. So I believe that because they were seeding in the tournament. So yes. if people, if you win a continental championship, you earn very many points. And that made her to be number two in the world mm -hmm. at, the, at the world championship. And when it comes now to the draw, the yes. top seeds normally uh, where we have uh, opportunity for buys, it yes. goes to the top seeds. Uh -huh. So she was able to benefit out of that yeah. and get a very good buy. And well, the, but I wouldn't complain mm. about her loss because yes. she lost to a very good boxer. Yeah. You could see the standards were very high. Mm -hmm. She gave a very good, I think to me that's the best performance she has ever had in yes. her boxing career. Yeah. And yet she lost. But you can't complain. It's, some, it's a performance that you'll be proud even when you lose. Mm -hmm. You see that performance was very good. Well, we are talking to Dan Kankure, the Communications Director, Boxing Association of Kenya. And that is just a review of the Women World Championship that happened in New Delhi, India, where Elizabeth and Diego, our Kenyan, made it to the quarterfinal of uh, that event. But now let's come back home and we've got to talk about the African Zone 3 Boxing Championship that will be happening in, from the 18th to the 22nd of April in Dar es Salaam. And we have, uh, we have got some... Uh, some of our boxers like Christine Ongare talking about how they are preparing for that event. We have got also the captain for the men's uh, Bonfest Mogunde, who is actually captaining the men for the very first time. He'll be telling us how they are preparing for that and uh, the coach Musa Benjamin. Let's uh, listen to them and then we'll be talking about how the preparations are going on in that for that event. <laughs> Sija kuwa mgonjwa, last month, nimekuwa game, nikacheza, so tunaelekea zone 3, ama yuko Tanzania. Nisha pata challenges mom kwa zone 3, so na work more extra hard. Na believe, still ndoto ya angu, hata badu kama ndapata gold in Africa, badu ndakuwa sija timiza ndoto ya angu, ndoto ya angu ni wa foreign, wachana na Africa. Main goal. But so far so good Mikopoa. And I believe Nenda perform poor because Babu in Africa. And I believe kwa God na pick him as well and me chapa. See a mini ko it yang cos babu kwa sa easy kwanza weight niko comfortable. See a mini kunule mwenye and is a tutokia from noya. 
and it kwa hiyo weight si ati na boost but kulingana na ile zoezi nimechapa kwa sababu kila mtu akitoka kwa country yake anakuba champo hiyo country but sasa kulingana na mimi kukuwa champ ni rahisi but to maintain the championship hapo ndio shida hiyo inakuwa so wa inabidi ni work extra mile kwa sababu pia kuna yenye wakilala mimi ndo anawalali juu yangu so pia mimi inafa ni outbox work extra na na believe na kama na the best result itakawa ile yenye niliwaletea Uh, kwa majina ni Boniface Mugunde. Uh, nacheza light middleweight 71 kgs. Na shukuru God kwa hii nafasi ya kuwa hapa si rahisi. Ni bidii ndio inahitajika hapa. So my preparation yetu iko poa. Eh, kwa sababu tuko na ma game mbili zenye ziko mbele yetu kuna zone 3 na the big the big one ni Uh, eh wala wa, wa, world championship yeah world championship yeah, the, the big one na hiyo ndio target yetu kwa sababu hiyo ndio wenye kila mtu wenye uh, kila mtu na anapata ametarajia so preparation iko poa eh, na shukuru god tulikuanga kuna game tulienda Rwanda eh, nitoa Yapco games za polisi ambayo nilienda nikachukua gold eh, na nilishukuru god kwa sababu niliona prepare eh, mazazi yetu kwa kumeifanya niliona hapo so bado tunaendelea hapa na tuko hapa na ke, team Kenya tuko na national team so preparation ndio tunaendelea na preparation yetu which is okay na tunashukuru god it's not it's not sira isi ni si rahisi you have to put your heart una unaweka hati yako yote hapa so zone train ndio iko mbele yetu tena Eh, last last time kwani nilienda hii zone 3 nilienda nikakuja na bronze but this round na hii eh tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa siku nyingine tumeweza kukutana tumefanya mazoezi vizuri eh, tukijitayarisha katika kwa mashindano ya Africa Zone 3 Championship ambayo itafanyika kule Dar es Salaam kuanzia tarehe 18 hadi tarehe 23 mwezi huu wa 4 Uh, timu imekuwa ikiendelea vizuri na mazoezi imekuwa uh, baada ya ku timu ya kinadada kutoka kule India tumekuja na tukaanza mazoezi moja kwa moja tukawa pamoja na timu ya wanaume ambayo pia wana, watakuwa wanatumia mashindano haya kama maandalizi ya ubingwa wa dunia wa mchezo wa upande wa kina wanaume ambao itaanza uh, tarehe moja mwezi wa tano so team tumeendelea vizuri na mazoezi hakuna majeraha yoyote e, baadhi ya wasichana ambao walikuwa katika mashindano ya ulimwengu I mean wa world championship e, tumeona tuweze kuwapatia wengi wale ambao wali perform kadri ya uwezo wao nafasi katika mashindano haya ya zone 3 ili waweze kuongeza kupata experience na pia psychologically e, kama itawapatia boost wakiweza kushinda mabouts zao so tunaendelea vizuri tunania kwa uwezo wako Mwenyezi Mungu tuondoke kama tarehe 20 na 16 eh, kuelekea Dar es Salaam eh, na tutawakilishwa katika viwango vya vyote za watimu ya wanaume manake kama nimevasema hapo awali wana prepare for Men World Championships ambayo itafanyika kule Uzbekistan na baadhi ya kina dada pia. So timu iko sawa. Nafikiri morali iko juu kabisa, wako tayari kufikia uh, wiki hiyo tarehe 16 au 18 tutakuwa tuko tayari kuwakilisha nchi yetu kama kawaida na kufanya uh, kwa chochote ambacho tutaweza ili kuweza kuzoa medali kadhaa tukikumbuka kwamba mwaka jana tuliweza kuwa namba 2 na tulipata gold sita tungependa ku improve on hiyo medal tally na vile vile kuibuka kama washindi wa mashindano hayo ya zone 3 haitakuwa rahisi lakini tutapambana
Uh, that is the coach, Musa Benjamin, there, and also Bonfest Mogunde, the captain, and Christine Ongare, as they are preparing for the Africa Zone 3 Boxing Championship that will be happening in Da from the 18th to the 22nd of April. Last time when we went out for this championship, actually, we came back with six gold, five silver, and seven bronze. How is the mood in camp for these guys? Uh, the mood uh, is very bullish because I yeah. believe they are seeing a uh, chance where they can go and redeem themselves, especially the ones who are in India. Yes. And the ones who, the men who had no tournament, at least we had a local tournament for the KDF guys had a tournament, and I believe the guys from Kenya Police mm. also were in Iapco in Rwanda, mm. and uh, like our captain was there and he won gold. Yes. So I believe uh, he's raring to go and uh, maybe win the gold medal in the zone three. Yeah. Uh, I believe in total, we, as a federation, we are just thinking of how we can go and better our performance okay. at the zone three championship, where last time we were number two. Yes. Uh, and our hope is that this time round that is being held in our neighbor, our sister country in Tanzania, mm -hmm. we can go there and maybe win the overall title. Mm -hmm. But that means commitment by our boxers mm -hmm. to go and do their best at their individual level. Mm -hmm. So that at the end of the championship, when you look at our bag of medals, mm -hmm. we top the table. Yes. So the hope of uh, of the federation is that uh, we will be able to send a team that is going to represent the country effectively mm -hmm. and probably win the overall title this time around. Yes. Have they named uh, some of the players who are actually traveling? Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, some of the boxers that we have are uh, the usual regulars, mm -hmm. uh, although we had uh, some changes because uh, somebody like our former captain, Nick Kokoth, has since retired. Yes. Uh, and we have rene we have named a new captain mm. for the national boxing team. Yes. And that is Boniface Mugunde, who will be the captain of the men's side. And uh, Elizabeth and Diego is the captain of the women's side. Mm. But when we have both, yes. uh, and Diego is the overall captain. Mm. Uh, yes, uh, for the boxers who are in the team that is likely to go and do duty in Tanzania, we have for minimum weight, uh, Abednego Kialo. Yeah. Uh, then in the flyweight, mm. we have uh, David Karanja, who is the defending champion. Yes. Then uh, Shafi Bakari, he's mm. in uh, featherweight. He's also mm. defending champion. Yeah. We yes. have uh, Samuel Njao, also mm. defending champion. Yes. Then in the lightweight, you have Ethan Maina. Light welter, we have Joseph Shigali. Mm. Then in uh, welterweight, we have Steve Olang. Mm. Light middleweight, we have Boniface Mugunde, who is the captain. Yes. In the middleweight, we have Edwin Okongo, uh, silver medalist last time round. Yes. Then uh, light heavyweight, we have a debutant in uh, Robert Okaka. Mm. Then cruiserweight, we have Hezron Maganga. Yes. Uh, heavyweight, we have Peter Abuti. And in super heavyweight, we have a defending champion in Elia Joy. Yes. And then on the women's side, yeah. we have Christine Ongare, Emily Juma. Mm -hmm. Emily Juma was not with us in uh, New Delhi. Yes. She had paperwork issue, but we think she started it enough to yes. be in the team. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have a bantamweight, we have Amina Martha. Mm -hmm. Then we have Pauline Chege. Then lightweight, we have Stacey Ayoma. Uh, welterweight, we have Frieza Nyango. Yeah. And Elizabeth and Diego, yeah. who is the captain of the team. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think 21 boxers, 13 men, 8 female. This looks like a tough squad. A quarter final, <laughs> like and Diego now, we can expect a gold medal from her. Definitely, yeah. Being yes. that she's uh, yeah. Africa number two at the heavyweight, heavyweight level. Yes. And the person who defeated her, the Africa for the Africa gold is now the world champion, yes. Madi Khadija. Mm -hmm. So I believe at the zone three boxing championship, she should be able to go and win that title. Yeah. And by the way, she's defending mm -hmm. champion yes. also. Uh -huh. She won the gold last time round. She's the envy of many in Dana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a, a big one. That she'll be one of the star <laughs> attractions yes. uh, for the show. Well, it's a big one there. Let's hope that it will come out well. We have got other events that are coming up. We've got the men world championship in Tashkent, Uzbekistan.
Kenya is also sending a team there in May? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are hoping to send uh, a team at the World Championship mm -hmm. for men. Mm -hmm. And actually, the tournament that we have in Dar es Salaam for the Africa Zone 3, yeah. we want to use it as a build-up for mm -hmm. the World Championship because we believe mm -hmm. the World Championship is a thorough, is a thorough championship for our boxers, yes. whom we also are thinking of prepare we are using that also as a yardstick to measure how to gauge ourselves as we prepare for olympic qualifiers yes so we think that uh, being able to compete at the world championship level is a good gauge for us to go and uh, test ourselves mm. and see how far we have gone in our preparation yeah. see which areas we need to work on more so that uh, by the time it comes to the Olympic qualifiers, yeah. we'll be at our top level and be able to, co to compete effectively and probably win, uh, win the slots yes. for the Olympic. Because ideally, we have never missed to, rep to represent at the Olympic level. Mm -hmm. But this time, the quota system for the qualifiers <laughs> are not yes. friendly. Yes. So we really need to mm -hmm. prepare very well so that when it gets to that time, yeah. Uh, as a team, we are ready for the challenge, yes. and it's a very serious challenge. You, you have actually talked about, but uh, I will want to get it in detail because Paris 2024 is actually here. It's just a year away to the Olympics in 2024. How tough is the quarter system for the qualifiers for the Olympics, more so for the African teams? Personally, I feel it's a very big challenge for us because I believe the whoever came up with that quota system mm -hmm. discriminated against Africa. Yes. Uh, it seems uh, without doubt, I can say, uh, that uh, the Paris Olympic Games is going to be one Olympic where Africa is going to have the least number of representatives mm -hmm. ever. Yes. Uh, you know, in Africa we have uh, 54 countries. Yes. Uh, and for instance, when you look at the quota system mm -hmm. for Africa, the Olympic qualifier for Africa, which ideally was supposed to be the Africa Games, yes. which were to be held in uh, Accra in the month of August, and I believe have been postponed to March, mm -hmm. which, present a new, which presents a new problem, yes. because that was supposed to be the first qualifier for Africa. Mm -hmm. For men, mm -hmm. we're only qualifying seven. Uh, we, we have seven weight categories, yes. so it's only the gold medalists at the Africa Games that are going to qualify mm -hmm. for the Paris Olympic Games. Yes. For the women, it's going to be 11, mm -hmm. and we have six weight categories for women at the Olympics. Yes. But for the Africa qualifier, the first one, it's going to be 11 boxers. That means the finalists in the lower weights and the gold medalists at the middleweight division. That is the heaviest weight for women is middleweight. Yes. And probably have bad news for some boxers because the heavyweight world champion, Madi Khadija, yeah. is coming down to middleweight. She'll be competing. Taking another slot uh, of a person who should get that one. It's not, uh, okay, <laughs> she, she'll be fighting for it, and yes. I believe, but I believe she's good enough to win it. Uh, last time round, we had, uh, there's a story behind that because yes. uh, Madi Khadija had qualified for the Tokyo Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. Uh, she is the Africa champion, 2019, yes. mm -hmm. won gold. Yeah. Africa Olympic qualifier, she won gold. Yes. During the COVID break, mm -hmm. she got pregnant. Ah, okay. Uh, and she gave birth mm -hmm. 40 days mm -hmm. to the start of the Tokyo Olympic Games. Yes. So she was not able to compete mm -hmm. at the Olympic Games. Yeah. But because she wants to compete at the Olympics, mm -hmm. uh, I had a talk with her when we were in New Delhi, yeah. and she told me that that was her last heavyweight fight. Mm -hmm. She's coming down to middleweight yeah. because she wants to compete at, uh, at the Olympic Games. Yeah. So she'll compete as a middleweight, mm -hmm. and it's only one slot for that weight. Yes. And uh, you can easily guess where it will go. Wow. That's a, the level of competition there will be really crucial for the African qualifiers. We'll be waiting for that. And see. But finally, talk to us about the Kenya Open Championship that is ongoing also. Uh, no, uh, ideally, uh, mm. Kenya Open was supposed to happen between 6th and 8th of April. Yes. Uh, and the re Actually, th the next weekend. Yes, yeah. it, but now we had a problem because of uh, Africa Zone 3. Uh -huh, yes. So Zone 3, they had not identified the dates. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, so when now Africa Zone 3 came up with the dates that now they have uh, put on the fixtures, mm -hmm. now we had to, to postpone yes. our Kenya Open. Mm -hmm. And our calendar is a bit congested at this mm -hmm. time. So as a federation, we are thinking of going to have a meeting and decide when we are going to reallocate mm -hmm. the dates for the Kenya Open. Yeah. Uh, from now, you see now Kenya, the Zone 3 Africa Boxing Championship is from 18th to, actually it's supposed from 8th. Yes. So after they had done the changes, they again postponed by one week. Yeah. So now they are, they are, they are still messing us a bit. But mm -hmm. uh, we believe it's going to happen on 18th to 22nd. Mm -hmm. And then from 30th to 14th of May, we have Men World Championship, yes. which we are also taking part in. Mm -hmm. So I believe where we might have some favorable dates to do Kenya Open might be in the month of uh, June. Yes. Because in July, I believe there are other, the other fixtures that are set there, like the Africa Championship mm -hmm. will be in July. Yes. Uh, and then uh, in August, we had all Africa Games. We don't know what will happen there. We are suspecting there could be Olympic qualifier uh -huh. in the month of August. Yes. So our calendar is a bit congested and our league is starting in September. Yeah. So we are working very hard to see that uh, we are able to provide for Kenya Open Championship mm -hmm. because we believe even some county teams had already selected teams to come and compete uh, for Kenya Open Championship. Mm -hmm. But again, to us, it doesn't make much sense when you are doing Kenya Open, which is supposed to determine who is the national champion and mm -hmm. the champions are not around. Yes. They are in zone three. Mm -hmm. So we want to organize a tournament where everybody takes part in it. Mm -hmm. And so when we get our Kenya Open champions, mm -hmm. that becomes part of form the preliminary team for the national team yeah. to be able to do the different assignments that we are going to have mm -hmm. between now and the end of the year. Yeah. And I believe for all the boxers now, their main target is Olympic Games. Yes. So I believe whoever is training, is focusing on trying to get a slot to be able to represent the country at the Olympic Games. Uh, so in due time, we are going to communicate the exact date when the Kenya Open will happen. Yes. But uh, in the meantime, we have some assignments which we have to undertake as a country. Uh, the Boxing Federation of Kenya is going to be funding the Africa Zone 3 Boxing Championship. Yes. And we are hoping that uh, we'll get a good team to be able to represent us at the championship. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, Dan Kankura is the Communications Director, Boxing Association of Kenya. That is it uh, for this segment. I'm Robert Osoro. Let's go for a short commercial break. Also, enjoy the Australian Grand Prix that happened. And we can saw Verstappen also winning that one. And Lewis Hamilton making it to the podium. When we come back, we'll be talking more on Fanzone. Burnley is finally back on the English Premier League.